I have a question. Can I declare my house an independent nation and call it the United Republic of Chairs? Okay, but seriously, the current situation in Spain has me worried. You've all heard of the independence re referendum held in Catalonia. And although earlier the president has said that he will not immediately declare independence, but will instead choose dialogue, things aren't exactly looking up. I don't have time to go into the whole history, but I'll start by saying that Spain is divided into many autonomous regions, and while they answer to Madrid, many have their own parliament. Catalonia is in a region in eastern Spain, which has its own culture, national identity, and even language. For years, much of the region has had the desire to secede because culturally they would thrive on their own. Furthermore, a fifth of Spain's economy comes from Catalonia, along with a fourth of its export. Catalonia's capital, Barcelona, is the country's second largest city and is the most famous for its tourism, chemical production, finance, and food sector. Given all the attributes, it's quite clear why Madrid wants to hold on to the region of 5 million people. Seeing an independence referendum would mean Spain unity is threatened. For this certain crisis, as far back as June of this year, the Catalan Parliament stated that it would place October 1st as the day of the referendum, and in a controversial move stated a slight majority would be enough to win while not exactly setting a minimum turnout percentage. On September 6th, the Constitutional Court of Spain declared the referendum illegal and would strike down any vote that the Catalan people had made. What started as a war of words ended up being a full-blown mess. As much as I don't need to explain, on the day of the referendum, the Spanish National Police and Guardia Civil stormed many polling stations in an attempt to disrupt the vote. Police vehicles were pouring into the region with the intent of dera derailing such legislation only a few days before the vote took place. This brought up a furious reaction from the Catalan people, which unsurprisingly increased tenfold on the day of the vote. As many as 1,300 people were reportedly injured in the riots surrounding polling stations throughout the region. Polls closed later that night and 92% of people voted to see Catalonia become an independent state. Despite this, the Spanish government dismissed the vote and called for unity across the entire country. Since then, the small breakaway region has been in a state of protest, refusing to submit to many state obligations while the Catalan parliament has been confidently saying that they will declare independence within the next couple of days. So many people wonder what will happen to it next. Due to several clashes between protesters and government escalating to armed conflict, will Spain be next? If you want to look at the situation pessimistically, the Spanish government could call a national crisis and send troops into the province to defend sovereign integrity. Since it is a member of both the European Union and NATO, it would also gain support from other governments. Should the Catalan people take up arms, violence would spread like wildfire. It's no surprise that nationalism has been the leading cause of war for centuries and has been able to bring fighting spirits into many people. If a nationalist leader were to make a rallying call, the Catalan people would indeed have the determination to fight for independence. Furthermore, Catalonia has its own autonomous police force, which went inactive on the day of the vote and allowing polls to open. In a hypothetical war, they would have small arms and light armor covered in regards to fighting strength. According to Transparency International, corruption is still a problem in the Spanish government, and many Latin American drug cartels have set up bases in Spain as their gateway to selling narcotics in Europe. Only in this situation, guns might make their way to the Catalan government should they agree to do business. Seven Colombian nationals suspected of acting as enforcers for drug cartels were arrested in Madrid in possession of a grenade launcher and other weapons. Spanish police had been tracking the suspects for 16 months and decided to raid their hangout after the group received a considerable arms shipment, state security officials said Monday. Besides the grenade launcher, the consignment included a rifle with its telescopic sight, handguns, shotguns, and silencers. Investigators said they believed the suspects were sent to Spain to collect debts and settle scores on behalf of Colombian drug cartels, and that their mission also included an attempt to forge an alliance with Mexican drug traffickers who were based in the Mediterranean city of Valencia. The seven Colombians operated from a restaurant in the Madrid suburb of Leganes, from where they would send flowers to their intended victims, a code phrase for making a hit. However, there is an optimistic way of looking at this. 
Although 92% of people voted for independence, a very large number of them are opposed to the idea of an independent Caledonia. Only 43% of Catalans turned up for voting. Many have boycotted the referendum, calling it dull, including opposition parties such as Catalunya Seque Sepot. Recently this week, counter-protesters have also gathered, calling for national unity. We are Spanish. I mean, this is our soil as well. Viva! Every war also requires money, and while Catalonia has one of the largest industries on the Iberian Peninsula, most companies said they would relocate to Spain in the event independence happened. This would basically mean no funds for a war effort. Also, Catalonia has seen very little recognition from some countries, like France, who have flat out rejected the vote. In that case, any fighting force would easily be labeled as a terrorist organization by the international community. So, the last thing we need is a war, and a peaceful ending is required, and I'm glad to see some sort of dialogue is in actions because of the events that have unfolded earlier today. One proposed option is to make Spain a federal country in hopes of the Catalan government accepting its terms. I even wonder why this hasn't been done before.